Unit 1 Test 1. Let's listen. People are making small talk. What are they talking about? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. So how are things at the office, Mike? Not too bad, but we're all pretty busy right now. We have a big meeting next week, so everyone is working late. 2. Hi, Margaret. I haven't seen you for a long time. How's everyone at home? Well, Teresa's married now, so we don't see her much. And my other sister is still in high school. She has a boyfriend now. 3. Hi, Roberta. How was your winter break? It was really a lot of fun. I went skiing with my friends up in Canada. 4. Have you been outside yet? No. Why? It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining and there's a nice breeze. It's just fantastic. 5. Hi, Wendy. How is everyone? Well, George just got a new job working for the government, and the kids are all in school now, so I have a little more time for myself. Two. Let's listen. Tim and Mrs. Brady are making small talk. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. Excuse me, are you Mrs. Brady? Why, yes, I am. How do you know my name? You were my English teacher way back in 1987. Oh, yes, now I remember you. You're Tim, Tim Allen, right? That's right. You've got a great memory. I never forget a face. What are you doing these days? Well, I'm a teacher myself now. I teach English at City College. Oh, that's wonderful. I'd love to hear more about it, but I've got to run. I'm late for my next class. I'm still teaching here at the university. It was nice seeing you again. Nice seeing you, too. Unit 2 Test 1. Let's listen. Students are interviewing for part-time jobs. Where does each person want to work? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. So, Sam, do you have any experience with fast food cooking? No, but I've made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches before. What about hamburgers? Have you ever made hamburgers? Or french fries? Or milkshakes? Uh, no. Not really. Okay. We'll call you if we need you. 2. Is this the first time you've applied for a job as a lifeguard, Sally? Actually, I've been a lifeguard every summer for the last 10 years. Really? And just how old are you? 18. I started by babysitting my little brother in our backyard pool. 3. Peter, have you ever been a clerk before? Yes. I worked one summer at a convenience store in my neighborhood. People came to buy a snack or a soda or to read a magazine, and I helped them find what they wanted. 4. So, Max, I see you're studying math in college. Yes, that's right. And I also worked in a computer store, so I could probably teach computer skills. That's great. 5. We're looking for someone who can set and clear the tables, make good coffee and tea, and take orders from customers. Do you think you could do that, Emily? Well, I think I could do it if you show me how. Okay, we'll give you a try. Come at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Two. Let's listen. Ray is talking about his part-time job. What does he like and dislike about it? Listen and check the correct answer. This summer I'm working as a lifeguard at a swimming pool. The worst thing I have to do is clean the pool every morning. There's always a lot of garbage and leaves in it. It's pretty disgusting. After I clean the pool, I let the swimmers in. I love watching the kids play. Some of them are really funny. Another good thing is that I get to listen to the radio while I work. I like to listen to jazz in the mornings and rock and roll in the afternoons. 
and I love working outside in the summer. I'm getting a great suntan. I just wish the money was better. They don't pay me enough. Unit 3 Test 1. Let's listen. People are talking about local businesses. What do they like about each business? Circle the correct answer. 1. I go to Muscles every morning to exercise. It's a great place for me because it's very close to my apartment, so I can go there in the mornings before work. Sometimes it's too crowded, and I know it's a little more expensive than other places, but I don't mind. 2. In my opinion, Sylvester's is the worst clothing store in town. Their clothes are really badly made, and the displays aren't organized well at all. It's impossible to find the size you're looking for. On the other hand, the salespeople are usually nice and helpful. 3. My wife and I both work a lot, so we never have time to cook. We're lucky that Uncle Bob's is around the corner from us. The food isn't great, but it's so close and convenient. Sometimes we eat there twice a day. 4. My car is old and it's always breaking down. The only place I bring it to is Sankin Automotive. It's not very cheap, but the staff there does good work on my car. They're very friendly people and they know what they're doing. I can really trust them. 5. The Blue Room is very disappointing. I mean, the musicians who play there are pretty good, but the atmosphere is terrible. The place is too small, and the tables and chairs are uncomfortable. Also, the cooks make a lot of noise in the kitchen, so it's really hard to hear the music. 2. Let's listen. Jenny is talking about her new business. What does she think is important and not important? Listen and check the correct answer. My partner and I just opened a small hotel in the city. We knew how important location is for a hotel, so we built it close to all the shops and museums downtown. The rooms aren't cheap, but since tourists usually don't mind spending money when they're on vacation, we decided that low prices weren't that important. On the other hand, we know that service is important, so we trained our staff to be friendly, polite, and helpful. The food is important, too so everything we cook is delicious. And we made sure that the atmosphere was perfect. That's probably the most important thing. We want people to feel relaxed as soon as they enter the hotel. Unit 4, Test. 1. Let's listen. People are describing their favorite gadgets and machines. Which gadget is each person describing? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. I just love this computer. It's so small and light. I can just slip it in my briefcase and take it anywhere. I even carry it with me when I bicycle to the library, so I can work on things there, too. 2. This is one of those new ones that doesn't need film. I just download the pictures right onto my computer. I love it because I can see my pictures right away. And if I take some bad pictures, I just delete them. Now everyone thinks I'm a great photographer. 3. I'm so glad my new apartment has one of these. In my old place, I had to wash every dish myself in the sink. Now I just put the dirty dishes in here, add some soap, Press a button, and it cleans them automatically. 4. I love this gadget. I talk on it during bus rides, on the train, in restaurants, and even when I'm walking down the street. 5. I live in a very small apartment, so I love this gadget because it takes up almost no space at all. The screen is very light and thin, so you can hang it on the wall. I can watch the news as I cook or watch movies before bed. 2. Let's listen. People are having problems using these gadgets or machines. What is the problem with each one? 
Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Do you understand these new cameras? I can turn it on, but it won't let me take any pictures. Why don't you see what it says on the display screen? Good idea. Let's see. It says, memory card full. Is that a problem? Yeah. It means the camera's memory is full. You'll have to erase some pictures. 2. Oh, what's the matter, Lisa? All I want is some light here. Can you help me get this flashlight to work? Hmm, I think the batteries are dead. Why don't you try replacing them? Oh, yeah. Good idea. 3. I promised my wife we'd have rice with our dinner, but I can't get this rice cooker to work. It's taking a really long time to cook the rice. Let me look inside. Here's the problem. You added too much water. That's why it's taking so long. Oh, that makes sense. 4. I'm totally confused. I just want to hear my new CD, but the CD player won't play it. I think I know what the problem is. The volume is too low. That's why you can't hear the music. Here, just push this button. All right. Thanks. 5. I washed these dishes in the dishwasher, but they're still dirty. It's really frustrating. Yeah, I'll tell you what the problem is. You didn't rinse the dishes first. It's an old dishwasher, so you have to do that. Unit 5 Test 1. Let's listen. People are talking about their friends and classmates. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Does Mona really go to the library every night to help her students with their assignments? Yeah, it's true. She really cares about her students and wants them to succeed. 2. I'm worried about my roommate, Laura. All she does is sit around, eat junk food, and watch TV. She sounds pretty relaxed. But she's not. She's depressed because she can't find a job. 3. Did you hear that Pedro got the highest score on the test? Yeah. That guy is the smartest person I know. He gets the highest score on just about every test. 4. Don't you think Frank is a great guy? All of my friends want to date him. Well, I know he's handsome, but I don't think he's very honest. I've heard him telling people things that just aren't true. 5. You know that guy Arthur? The one who tries to answer all the questions in our history class? Of course I know him. He was doing it again today. Everything he says is wrong. He always gives the wrong date or the wrong place. Or the wrong name. Exactly. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about how their friends have changed. What is each person like now? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Susan used to have green hair, and she listened to really cool music. Now her hair is brown and plain. She used to go to parties all the time, but all she does now is work and talk about work. She's become really boring. 2. Russell Smith used to be really shy. When I knew him in elementary school, he'd sit in the corner of the classroom and look at the floor all day. I can't believe he's a famous rock star now, singing in front of thousands of people. 3. Ellen used to be my best friend. She ate lunch with me every day. But ever since she got a boyfriend, she only eats lunch with him. Sure, I sometimes see her at school and she says hi to me, but we never get together anymore. 4. Jack used to be a fun, easygoing kind of guy. Any little thing would make him laugh, and he was always telling jokes. I can't believe how much he's changed since he started law school. Now he's always serious and stressed out. He must be under a lot of pressure. 
Five. Since she got married, Laura has really let herself go. She's gained about 20 kilos now, and she always wears baggy old T-shirts and sweatpants. And she doesn't even comb her hair or anything. Unit 6 Test 1. Let's listen. People are describing different kinds of food. What ingredients do the people mention? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. I know this cafe that serves the best borscht. That's a kind of soup. It's made from sugar, potatoes, onions, garlic, and eggs. And, of course, it's got lots of beets. You know, those bright red vegetables? 2. When I was a child, my parents used to take me to the local restaurant and order me a pizza burger. That's a hamburger that has pizza ingredients inside it, like tomato sauce and lots and lots of cheese. 3. When I was on vacation in Prague, in the Czech Republic, every restaurant served something called smajerny sir. The name means fried cheese, so it's made from just cheese and oil. 4. Every Sunday, my crazy roommate cooks something for us that he calls potato soup. It's very simple to make. He puts five potatoes in a pot of water. It's cheap, but it tastes pretty bad. 5. I love this Mexican restaurant called Burrito King. They make the best burritos. They take beef, lettuce, tomatoes, and lots of spices, and they roll it up in a tortilla. It's really spicy. 2. Let's listen. The host of a cooking show is explaining how to make a banana split. Listen and circle the correct information. 1. Hello, everybody. Are you ready to make a delicious and easy dessert? OK. To start with, you need these ingredients, vanilla ice cream, strawberry ice cream, chocolate ice cream, and chocolate sauce. And you need one banana, of course. Two. Okay. Now that you have your ingredients, you need a bowl to put everything in. Make sure it's a big bowl, everyone, because we're going to use a lot of ice cream. Three. We're ready for the next step, okay? Take the banana and peel it. You know, open it. Then take a knife and cut the banana into two long pieces. Got it? After you've cut the banana, put the pieces in the bowl. Four. Okay, everybody. Now it's time to add the ice cream. Do you see this big, big spoon I have? That's called a scoop. Now. Take two scoops of vanilla ice cream and two scoops of strawberry ice cream and put them in the bowl. Good! Put them right on top of the banana. Then add one scoop of chocolate ice cream. Five. Okay, okay! Are you getting excited, everybody? Here's the last step. Take your chocolate sauce and pour it all over the ice cream and the banana. Okay, that's it. The banana split is finished. You should eat it right away while it's still cold. Unit 7 Test 1. Let's listen. People are talking about housing. What kind of place does each person need? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. My life is so stressful now. I think maybe I should move. You mean you want to move out of the city? Yeah. You know what I'd like? A little house far away from the city where it's quiet. 2. I'm sick of living at home. My parents are always telling me not to come home late or not to sleep in late. Well, you're 31 years old. Don't you think it's about time you got a place of your own? Yeah, I've been thinking about it. 
but I don't have much money. I'm sure you have enough for a small place somewhere in the city. You only need one room. Three. My sister is having a terrible time finding an apartment. Really? Why is that? She's in a wheelchair, so she needs something on the first floor. Oh, I see. Four. Mark, I heard you'll be moving soon. Yeah. The suburbs just weren't right for me. Everything is so quiet. I love seeing foreign films, visiting art galleries, and eating French food. That's why I'm moving downtown. Five. Hey, Trevor, what's this I hear about you moving out of your apartment downtown? It's true. I really like the apartment, but I just got a dog, so I have to move. I'm looking for an apartment with a yard. Two. Let's listen. People are talking about why they moved to a different place. Does the information in the chart describe their old place or their new place? Listen and check the correct answer. One. Rick, I heard you moved. Yeah, last week. It's great. You should see the view from my window. It's much better than my old place. Now I get lots of sunlight, and it's very quiet, too. That sounds like a real improvement. Two. Hey, Jenny, how do you like your new place? It's fantastic. It's so much bigger than my old place, and there are two bathrooms. Wow. Yeah, and the rent is better, too. My old place was way too expensive. Three. Jackie, what's your new place like? Well, I'm not in the city anymore, so it's a lot quieter. That sounds nice. Yeah, it is. But it's pretty far from the city. My old place was in a great neighborhood. I really miss it. Unit 8 Test 1. Let's listen. People are complaining about their apartments. What problem does each apartment have? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. This apartment is driving me crazy. The kitchen is much too small. It has new appliances, which is nice, but there's no room for me. 2. My bathroom is the worst. Look how old everything is. The toilet looks like it was put in about a hundred years ago. And lately, it's been making this horrible noise. Three. I just bought a TV, but I can't get a single channel on it. The reception in this building is terrible. I think there's something wrong with the antenna on the roof. Four. Did you hear that? It's my neighbor listening to music again. The walls in this apartment are so thin. They're like paper. I can't sleep because of all this noise. Five. My new apartment is really big and cheap, but the neighborhood is the worst. There are no supermarkets, no restaurants, no bookstores, and the garbage is never picked up. There's trash all over the sidewalks. Two, let's listen. People are complaining to their landlord. Does the landlord agree to help the people? Listen and check the correct answer. One. Can you help me, Mr. Roberts? The windows in my apartment are really old and a lot of cold air comes in. Do you think you could replace them? Of course. I'll send someone up right away. Two. I was wondering if you could do something about repainting the bathroom. The color is pretty bad. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I can't help you there. Three. Mr. Roberts, the light switch in the living room doesn't work. It's a real problem when I come home from work at night. That is a real problem. I'll fix it today. Four. Could you take a look at the bathroom, Mr. Roberts? All of the faucets are leaky. Well, that's pretty serious. I'll call a plumber right now and have him fix it tomorrow morning. 
five. The living room couch is really worn out, and it's very dirty too. When can you replace it? Actually, that couch belonged to the people who were there before you. If you want a new one, you'll have to get your own. Unit 9 Test 1. Let's listen. People are describing their friends. What qualities are they talking about? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. So how's your new roommate, Nora? Oh, she's really cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's so funny. She always makes me laugh. 2. I'm not so happy with Bill lately. What's the matter? He's got no future plans. He just wants to be a lifeguard at the beach. 3. I'm so glad I met Allison. Why's that? She's the first smart girl I've ever hung out with. I love talking with her about history, art, even politics. Yeah, she's a really good student. 4. Is Jeff rude or what? I know what you mean. Every time he goes to a party, he ends up really annoying everyone. Sometimes he even gets in fights. 5. Daniel West is pretty cool, don't you think? Oh, yeah? I thought you didn't like him. Yeah, but that was before I got to know him. Did you know that his mother is an actress? And his father is that famous writer Rick West. 2. Let's listen. People are giving invitations. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Hey, Tom, are you doing anything Saturday afternoon? Not really. Let's go to the zoo then. I haven't been there in a long time. Neither have I. And I just love animals. I'll meet you there at 1 o'clock. Great. 2. Hey, Kristen. It's such a beautiful day, and I just washed my car, and I was wondering, well, if you'd like to go for a drive around the city with me. No, thank you. I don't really like driving around in traffic. 3. Hey, Cynthia, did you hear about that big craft fair this Saturday? Yeah, they're really making a big deal of it. Do you want to go with me? I don't know. It'll be so crowded and parking will be impossible. Come on. I'll drive and we'll go early before the crowds come. I'll pick you up at 8. Oh, okay. See you then. Unit 10 Test 1. Let's listen. People are discussing television shows. What kind of program are they talking about? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Hey, Bob, what did you do last night? I watched my favorite TV show, Who Wants a Million Dollars? I love it because the contestants are so stupid. They never answer the questions correctly. That doesn't sound very interesting. Oh, but it is. It's hilarious. I watch it almost every night. 2. Jenny, how often do you watch The Jeffermans? Almost never. Why? Don't you think it's funny? Actually, I don't. The jokes just aren't funny to me. 3. Do you ever watch The Jerry Stinger Show? No, never. I can't stand shows like that. Really? Why? Because all they do is talk, talk, talk. And the guests have so many ridiculous problems. 4. You're home in the afternoons, Mark. Do you ever watch that show, Passion Hospital? Yeah, it's on every day, so I watch it sometimes. I really don't like it, though. How come? It's boring. Every episode is the same. Either somebody has a nervous breakdown, somebody gets killed, or somebody gets married, and sometimes all three in the same episode. 5. You have to see tonight's show on the History Station. Why, Dave? What's so special about it? 
Well, it's about the Native Americans and what their lives were like before the Europeans came. That's why it's called Before Columbus. It's a fascinating topic. Hmm, that does sound interesting. I'll try to catch it. Two, let's listen. Announcers are talking about this week's television programs. Listen and circle the correct information. One. Tonight, catch the hot new sitcom that everyone's talking about, Friends and Enemies. This week's episode is going to be the funniest ever. That's 8 p.m. tonight, only on Channel 6. Two. Tomorrow night on PBS, tune in for a fascinating documentary on wildlife in Africa. That's tomorrow at 9 o'clock, right here on Channel 13. Three. Don't touch that dial. Super Crazy Late Night is on after the evening news. Tonight's guest is the actor Joey Kennedy. See why Super Crazy Late Night is the nation's number one talk show. Four. Hey, sports fans. Super Bowl Sunday is tomorrow. All day long, it's going to be football, football, football. It's the biggest game of the year, and it's only on Channel 7. Five. Tomorrow morning on Channel 12, watch some of the smartest high school students in the city compete on Academic Challenge. The grand prize is a college scholarship. Unit 11 Test. One, let's listen. People are talking about cities they visited on vacation. What did they like about each city? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. Where did you go on vacation? I went to Portland, Maine. It was really great. What did you like about it? Well, the mountains were beautiful and the weather was wonderful. It was cool and sunny every day. Two. I just got back from my trip to Rio de Janeiro. Rio? What's it like there? It has a lot of big, beautiful beaches. I spent a lot of time just lying on the sand and relaxing. Three. How was your trip to London? Fantastic. There's so much to see there. Museums, churches, old buildings, theaters. How was the weather? It rained every day. That was the only bad part. Four. Hey, Jim, I heard you went somewhere unusual on your vacation. That's right. I went to Riga, Latvia. Latvia? Where's that? It's on the Baltic Sea. Riga is the capital city. There are some really beautiful old buildings there. Five. How was your trip to Moscow? It was very surprising. I expected the city to be boring, but it was really exciting. The nightlife was incredible. Music, theater, opera, and, of course, lots of clubs. I had a fantastic time. Two. Let's listen. Julie is talking about her trip to California. Are these statements about San Francisco or Los Angeles? Listen and check the correct answer. Los Angeles and San Francisco are both cities in California, but they're completely different places. In Los Angeles, you have to drive everywhere. I had to rent a car just to go to a movie or visit a museum. San Francisco was different. There are a lot of buses and trains, and they're very convenient. The people are different in San Francisco, too. More relaxed and friendly. In Los Angeles, everyone seems to be in a hurry. But I have to say, the weather in Los Angeles is much better. It's sunny and warm every day. Unit 12, Test. 1. Let's listen. Paul is talking about how his hometown has changed. What was it like before? What is it like now? Listen and check the correct answer. When I was a boy, my hometown was clean and safe. It was beautiful, too. There were big parks with trees and lakes, 
and a lot of animals and birds live there. Now there are no trees, and the air is dirty and polluted. Instead of parks, there are tall, ugly buildings, and the traffic is horrible. It's really noisy. I really miss the good old days when this was a small, quiet town. Two, let's listen. People are talking about their cities. What change or improvement do the people suggest for each city? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. Glen Cove isn't a very beautiful place. All we have are big buildings and even bigger parking lots. It's not very nice. I think they should build more parks and fewer buildings. Two. I remember how awful my hometown Clinton Hill used to be. There was garbage on every street corner, and there weren't any stores anywhere. Now the streets are clean, and a big supermarket opened on my street. They should open a good bookstore too. Three. I love how exciting Mackinac has become. Ten years ago, there was absolutely nothing to do. Now there are clubs, restaurants, and discos. Next, they should open a mall. There's still nowhere to shop. Four. West Beach used to be so popular. We had a big movie theater, fancy restaurants, and beautiful beaches. But over the years, the beaches became polluted. They should really clean up those beaches. If they did that, maybe more tourists would visit. Five. Belleville only has fast food restaurants and movie theaters, so people here just sit around all day, eat fast food, and watch movies. That's why I think they should open a gym here. Maybe people would exercise more. Unit 13 Test 1. Let's listen. People are describing holidays and special events. Which day are they talking about? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. This holiday is in December, just before the end of the year. It's a time when families get together and give each other presents. In my house, we always put a big tree in the living room and sing special holiday songs. 2. I still like to dress up in a scary costume and go around my neighborhood getting candy and treats. My costumes are really good. Last year, I was Count Dracula, and I almost scared myself. 3. My mom is the most important person in my life, so I love to buy her flowers and presents on her special day. Sometimes I also take her out to a concert because she really loves music. 4. This is definitely my favorite holiday. It's the last night of the year. I always go to a party at one of my friend's houses, and we stay up all night listening to music and dancing. 5. This is the day when people are supposed to spend time with their girlfriend or boyfriend and buy each other candy and say they love each other so much. Ugh, I hate it. I guess I'm not a very romantic person. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about their birthdays. What did they do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Hey, Mary. I heard you had a birthday last week. What did you do? Well, I had planned to just get a video and have a quiet evening at home, but my boyfriend threw a surprise party for me. It was really nice and a real surprise. Two. My husband is so boring. Yesterday was my birthday, and I got flowers. What's the matter with flowers? I've gotten them for seven years in a row. Just once, I'd like to go out for dinner or get some jewelry. Anything but flowers. Three. So what did you do for your birthday? My girlfriend made me a great dinner, and then we went dancing. Wow, that sounds like fun. Did you get any presents? No, but that's okay. 4. Jen, how was your birthday? 
It was great. I had a big party for myself. I didn't want any presents, so I told my friends just to come to my house and bring something to eat or drink. Five. My birthday was really disappointing this year. Really? Why? Well, I was on a business trip in another city, and I didn't know anyone. So I just sat in the hotel room by myself and felt really lonely. Unit 14, Test. 1. Let's listen. People are talking about how they changed the way they dress. What clothes are they wearing now? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Jessica, remember me? It's Bob from college. Oh, hi, Bob. I didn't recognize you at all. Why not? Well, you're wearing such a nice suit and tie, and... Well, you used to only wear old jeans and a t-shirt. 2. Wow, Cindy. Those designer jeans look amazing on you. Yeah, thanks. I think they look great, too. They're a lot better than those long skirts and dresses I used to wear. You're right. 3. Hey, Sam. Nice outfit. At first, I thought you were wearing the American flag. Thanks. I'm feeling very patriotic these days, so I always wear red, white, and blue. A red tie, a white shirt, and a blue suit. 4. I love your yellow dress, Darlene. Thanks. I love bright colors. And after I had children, well, I just couldn't fit into jeans anymore. I know what you mean. 5. Hey, Thomas, is that a new sweater you're wearing? Yes, it is. I got it for Christmas. My mother gives me a sweater every year. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Last year she gave me a blue one, but I prefer this brown one. I do, too. Brown looks great on you. 2. Let's listen. People are describing things they have just bought. How much did they cost? Where were they made? Listen and complete the chart with the correct information. 1. I'm really excited about these jeans I bought today. They were on sale for only $49, and they're made in the U.S., so I think they'll be good quality. 2. This silk blouse is just what I need for my new job. It's by this famous French designer. His stuff is usually very expensive, but I found it on sale for only $99.95. 3. My new shoes are so cool. I've never bought real Italian designer shoes before. They were expensive, $150, but they're definitely worth the money. Unit 15 Test 1. Let's listen. People are talking about their preferences. Do they agree? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Which do you prefer to study, George? Math or English? I hate both of them, but I probably hate math more. So you prefer English? Yeah, that's right. Me too. 2. Erica, what kind of music do you like? I really love jazz, especially the trumpet player Miles Davis. How about you? Nah, I'm not into jazz. It's too quiet for me. I like rock and roll. 3. Do you have time to join me for lunch after the meeting? Sure. Where do you want to go? How about that new pizza place? Sorry, but I can't eat pizza. I'm on a diet. But I know a great salad bar. Why don't we go there? 4. Hey, that's a great bicycle. Thanks. I ride it all the time. Really? I bicycle all the time, too. It's really a cheap and convenient way to get around. Yes, it is. And it's a great way to exercise, too. 5. I'm thinking about getting a puppy. What do you think? A dog? I don't know. 
You have to take them out for walks a lot. I'd rather have a cat. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about their preferences. What topic are they discussing? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. So how was your interview at Burger City? Well, they wanted to hire me, but I decided I don't want to work in a fast food restaurant. The pay is too low. 2. Nice place, Rita. Thanks, but I miss my old place. Why? This one is so much bigger and it's in a cool neighborhood. Yeah, but the rent is much higher. 3. Hi, Jim. I've never seen you here before. Well, I usually go jogging, but I hurt my back, so now I can only swim. 4. Hey, Peter. Is that new? Yeah. Isn't it great? It's got four-wheel drive, leather seats, and look at this, a video screen in the back seat. It looks really fun to drive, too. 5. Have you been to Smith's recently? No. The new cashiers aren't very nice, and they stop selling the kind of apples I like. Unit 16 Test 1. Let's listen. Deborah is listening to messages on her voicemail. How does each caller sound? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Hi, this is Sally. You know that book I borrowed from you last week? Well, my dog chewed it up. I'm really sorry. In fact, I'm at the bookstore right now buying you another one. 2. Hi, this is Tim calling. Guess what? I'm a father. We just had a baby girl. Her name is Elizabeth Isadora. And she and Leslie are doing just fine. 3. This is John Blackmore from City College. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted into the graduate program. Congratulations. 4. Hi, this is Kathy. I know you have plans this evening, but my car broke down on the highway and I need a ride. Could you call me on my cell phone when you get in? Thanks. I'm so, so sorry to ruin your plans. 5. It's Frank. I'm at the movie theater. Where are you? I've been waiting for you at the ticket booth for 45 minutes. If you don't show up soon, I'm going home. 2. Let's listen. Listen to the phone conversations and complete the message pads. 1. Hello, Fresh Foods. May I help you? Yes. May I speak to Bess Carter, please? I'm sorry. She's at lunch now. May I take a message? Yes. This is Susan calling from Healthy Planet. That's Susan. S-U-S-A-N? That's right. Could you tell her that her order has arrived? Okay. And may I have your phone number? Sure. It's 439-2541. 439-2541. Okay. I'll give Bess the message. Thanks. 2. Good evening, Bluebird Restaurant. May I help you? Yes. May I speak to the chef, please? I'm sorry. Chef Michael is cooking right now. Could I take a message? Yes, this is Mrs. Smith from Smith Bank. I ate at the restaurant last night and... Slow down, slow down. That's Mrs. Smith, S-M-I-T-H, from Smith Bank, S-M-I-T-H? Yes, S-M-I-T-H. Now, as I was saying, I ate at the restaurant last night and I've been sick all day. Could you please have the chef call me back immediately? Okay, what's your number? 498-3947. Did you get that? It's 498-3947. Yes, I got it. I'll give the chef your message.
Unit 17 Test. 1. Let's listen. Emily is describing what happened to her last weekend. In what order did these events happen? Listen and number the sentences. Last weekend, my friend and I ate dinner at this great new Italian restaurant downtown. The problem was, when the bill came, my friend didn't have enough money to pay for her meal. She asked me if she could borrow some money. That's when I realized that my wallet was missing. I guess I left it at home. So I called my mother on my cell phone and asked her to bring my wallet to the restaurant. While we were waiting for my mother, the waiter asked us to pay the bill. I didn't want him to know we didn't have enough money, so I ordered more food. Finally, my mother arrived with my wallet and we paid the bill. After all that food, the bill was really high. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about things that happened to them. How did each person feel? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. I had to work late last night. When I got in the elevator to go home, I pressed the button and the doors closed, but the elevator didn't move. I pushed all the buttons, but nothing happened. I was trapped. 2. I exercise at the gym every morning before work. One day, I was so tired that I forgot to change clothes before I went to the office. So I was still wearing my shorts and t-shirt from the gym. Everyone was laughing at me. 3. I had been practicing to run the Boston Marathon for years. But on the night before the race, I fell while I was taking out the garbage and hurt my ankle. It was really painful so I wasn't able to run in the race. 4. This beautiful woman asked me to have dinner with her last Friday. I was so excited. The problem was, I forgot the name of the restaurant. When I finally found the right place, I was about an hour late. I felt so stupid. 5. I had really been looking forward to spending a quiet weekend in the country, but at the last minute, my boss asked me to work on an important project. I had to stay in the office and work the whole weekend. Unit 18 Test 1. Let's listen. Mr. and Mrs. Washington are talking about their vacation plans. Will they visit these places? Listen and check the correct answer. This year, we're going to Japan on our vacation. Yes, we're going to see the major cities on the big island of Honshu. Our plane flies into Tokyo, of course. We'll stay there for five days. Then we take the bullet train to Kyoto, the ancient capital of Japan. We'll be there four days. After that, we get on the bullet train again and go down to Hiroshima. We won't go to Osaka this time. And we won't get to see Kobe, either. It's too bad. That's where all that fantastic Kobe beef comes from. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about vacations they want to take. What does each person want to do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. I just love ballet. And one of the best ballets in the world is in St. Petersburg, Russia. Of course, Russia also has terrific theater and opera, but what I really want to see is the ballet. 2. I go to Paris every year for the food. Oh, yes, there are also a million art museums and a great opera house there, but I just go there to eat. 3. I love Latin music, especially Brazilian music. So this year, I'm going to Brazil. Everyone thinks I'm just going to lie in the sun, but I plan to spend all my time going to clubs and listening to music. 4. I'm going to the Grand Canyon this summer because I've always wanted to go whitewater rafting. There are other things to do there, like hiking and camping, but all I'm interested in is rafting. 5. I'm really into Elvis Presley, that famous American singer. I'm going to visit Graceland, his home in Memphis, Tennessee. 
There are great clubs and restaurants in Memphis, but I don't care about that. I just want to see where Elvis lived. Unit 19 Test 1. Let's listen. These are the beginnings of news reports. What kind of reports are they? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Today, old Bob Myers raced against 300 younger bicycle racers, winning the New Jersey Bicycle Marathon for his third time. This man is 78 years old. He really is an amazing athlete. 2. Martha Tudor, the richest woman in the world, was caught this morning stealing a banana from her local supermarket. She told reporters that it's not true. She said she was only borrowing it. 3. I am Will Potter, your weatherman. Today will be cloudy and rainy. Tomorrow's weather will be cloudier and more rainy. And the day after tomorrow, the weather will be the cloudiest and the most rainy. 4. Abu Dhabi was elected president of the tiny nation of Bula Bula last night. While he was celebrating, he broke his foot. His private doctor said he won't be able to walk for six weeks. Luckily, his foot will get better. 5. The popular singer Mandy Spears played her new song called I Love Money at last night's performance at Meadowlands Stadium. Over 50,000 fans attended the concert. 2. Let's listen. Listen to the entertainment news program, Super Hollywood. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Super Hollywood, where we tell you everything about the love lives of the stars. Lazy Freddy, the lead singer of Frog Express, said that he is not dating the actress Naomi Cox. He says he's just too busy to date anyone right now. Lazy Freddy posted several romantic messages about Naomi on his band's website after he met her at a concert in Seattle. He says, She's really cool, and I love her movies. Maybe I'll date her in the future, but not right now. Naomi says she thinks Lazy Freddy is cute, and she's waiting for him to call. Unit 20 Test 1. Let's listen. People are giving opinions about schools and education. What reason do they give for each opinion? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. I think kids have too much homework. In fact, I think students shouldn't have any homework at all. None at all? Yes. Then they can do more interesting things after school. 2. Did you hear about the garden that the junior high students are working on? No. What are they growing? They're planting vegetables. I think it's important for all kids to plant vegetable gardens at school. Why is that? Because they should learn where their food comes from. 3. Kids have so many tests these days. There are entrance examinations for college, high school, even junior high school. It's too much. Yeah, and those tests can be really unfair, too. I agree. Some people are naturally good at taking tests, and others aren't. 4. So many high school kids have part-time jobs after school. I think that's a real problem. Oh, I don't know. I think part-time jobs are good. They teach students about the real world. 5. So many public schools don't have enough money. It's true. The government needs to give money to our public schools. All children should get a good education. 2. Let's listen. People are giving their opinions. Do they agree? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. 
I just heard that Britney Barr will make $22 million on her next movie. That's ridiculous. Don't you think movie stars should make less money? Well, that is a lot of money, but I think she deserves it. Movie stars work really hard, you know. Two. I think kids watch way too much television these days. What do you think? I totally agree. Parents should make their children read more books and watch less TV. Three. Being a teacher is hard work, isn't it? Sometimes they have to stay up all night checking their students' homework. Yeah, but then they have those long holiday vacations. That sounds pretty easy to me. Four. How do you feel about violence on TV? I think it's okay if it's only in movies that are shown late at night, right? Well, I don't know. I think violent movies should never be on TV. Five. Did you hear about this fantastic new TV computer system that automatically deletes all the commercials? Yeah, it sounds terrific. I know. Now you don't have to waste your time watching all those ads. Unit 21 Test 1. Let's listen. Listen to a report on the Latina writer Sandra Cisneros. How did she become famous? Number the sentences. Sandra Cisneros was born in Chicago, Illinois, in 1954. Her father was Mexican, and her mother was Mexican-American. She had six brothers, and the family was very poor. She attended Loyola University in Chicago and took her first creative writing class there in 1974. After graduating from college in 1976, she attended the writing program at the University of Iowa. In 1980, she published her first collection of poetry, Bad Boys, and in 1984, she published her first novel, The House on Mango Street. This book made her famous, and many more books followed. In 1995, she won a MacArthur Foundation Fellowship, often called the Genius Grant. She had come a long way. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about the anthropologist Mary Leakey. When did these events happen? Listen and write the years. I've been researching Mary Leakey for a school project. Mary Leakey? Who's that? She was a famous anthropologist who made important discoveries about the very first people. She was born in 1913 and had a pretty ordinary life until she married the archaeologist Louis Leakey in 1936. How did that change her life? She began working with him in Africa, searching for evidence of the earliest humans. In 1948, on an island in Lake Victoria, she made her first important discovery. She uncovered a bone from an ape-like creature that lived 25 million years ago. But over the next 10 years, she had conflicts with her husband. What did they fight about? It seemed like Lewis always wanted all the attention. He loved being famous, but Mary just loved doing the work. In 1968, she left Lewis, and she started her own research in Tanzania. Several years later, in 1978, Mary made a discovery that captured the world's attention. What was that? She discovered footprints that were 3.75 million years old. They'd been made by three early members of the human family. She became very famous, more famous than her husband. Wow. Is she still alive today? No, she died in 1996. Unit 22, Test. 1. Let's listen. People are talking about their eating habits. What does each person eat? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. I start every morning off with a cold slice of pizza and a tall glass of warm milk. My friends think I'm crazy. But what can I say? I think it tastes good. 2. Hey, my name's Rocky, and I eat six big steaks every day. I know that sounds strange, but I want to be a bodybuilder. You know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Three. 
I used to be a vegetarian, but now I'm a vegan. That means I don't eat any animal-based foods at all. No meat or eggs or dairy products or anything. Mostly I eat fresh fruit and vegetables. Four. I eat fast food a lot, usually hamburgers and french fries, and I'm totally skinny. My doctor says it's because I'm young and my body digests food fast. I think it's because fast food is good for you. It tastes a lot better than rice and tofu. <laughs> I know that. Five. I'm on a wheat-free diet because I'm allergic to wheat. That means I can't have bread, crackers, cake, or any baked goods at all. My diet consists mostly of rice and vegetables. Two. Let's listen. A doctor is talking to his patients about nutrition. What advice does he give each person? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Do you eat any dairy products? Yes, I eat a lot of cheese with every meal. Mmm. I see. Well, cheese may taste good, but it's also got a lot of fat. I'd like you to eat less of it. 2. I've been waking up with a headache every morning this week. Hmm. Do you drink coffee or tea? Yes, I have a big cup of tea every night when I watch the news. That's probably why you get headaches. Why don't you stop drinking tea for a while? 3. How's your diet going? Well, I'm eating salads for lunch and dinner now, but I'm still hungry a lot. I think about ice cream all the time. You should try eating more vegetables, like carrots. They're a much healthier snack than ice cream. 4. I know you don't want to eat vegetables, but you need to if you want to be strong and healthy. So how about peas? Everyone likes peas. I hate peas. Do I have to? Well, I'm afraid you do. I'll tell your mother to give you more peas with every meal. 5. So how are you feeling now that you're eating more fresh fruit and vegetables? I feel a lot better, thanks. Now let's try eating more bread. That should give you more energy. Okay, I'll try that. Unit 23 Test 1. Let's listen. Will is talking about his predicaments. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. My life's a mess right now. I don't know how I got in these terrible predicaments. First, when I tried to cook some eggs in the microwave this morning, they exploded all over the place. I didn't have time to clean it up because I was late for school. But then I left my homework on the bus, so my teacher got mad at me. Then I lost the sweater that I had borrowed from my friend Michael. Then I had to borrow my friend David's car, and I got in a traffic accident. And David wants his car back today. Then there's the worst predicament of all. My friend Nancy said she's in love with me. The problem is, I'm not in love with her. Oh man, everyone is going to hate me. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about predicaments. How does each person feel? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. There's this guy in my class who I really like. The other day, he invited me to go to a movie. I got all dressed up, but when I met him at the theater, he was with his girlfriend. I had no idea he had a girlfriend. I felt so stupid. 2. My brother is in the army, and no one has heard from him in over a month now. I'm not sure what to think. Maybe he's doing some secret mission and can't communicate with his family. Or maybe he got captured by the enemy, or... Uh, I get really upset when I think about it. 3. I just went to a new doctor, and he said I should eat more meat. But my last doctor said meat was bad, and I should eat only fruits and vegetables. Now I don't know what to think. 4. My husband came home late again last night. He said he'd been working, but I could tell he'd been out at a nightclub with his friends. 
I was furious, not because he was late, but because he had lied to me. 5. I'm feeling really blue. I just found out that someone else got that job I wanted so badly. It was the perfect job for me, and I thought the interviewer really liked me. I was really hoping to get that job. Unit 24 Test 1. Let's listen. People are talking about global issues. Which issue is most important to each person? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. This city has become so dangerous at night. There aren't enough street lights and you never see the police anywhere. I'm really sick of it. 2. Millions of people in this world have AIDS, and sometimes they don't even know how they got it. I think the schools should teach us more about how to prevent AIDS. 3. The air in my city is so dirty that sometimes I can't see when I drive. That's why I started recycling my plastic. Now more and more people are starting to recycle too, so the air is getting a little better. 4. When I was a boy, the rainforest was so big and beautiful. Now it's all being cut down to make room for boring farms. It's depressing, you know? That's why I give money to an organization that protects the forests. 5. I don't understand why people all over the world are killing each other in horrible wars. We've been taught in schools how to read, write, and do math, but nobody teaches that it's wrong to hate. 2. Let's listen. A professor is talking about why people move from the city to the suburbs. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. The topic of my lecture tonight is suburban sprawl. That's the movement of people from the center of the city to the suburbs, the smaller towns around the city. Everyone knows that cities are centers of culture. Almost any city will have a university, a concert hall, theaters, and maybe even an opera company. In addition, there is usually plenty of nightlife in cities. But even with all of these positive aspects, more and more people are moving from the city to the suburbs. People move to the suburbs for many reasons. The most important reason is crime. Many people think that the suburbs are safer than the city. Also, Many people believe that people who live in the suburbs are friendlier than city people. However, there are disadvantages to life in the suburbs. For one thing, people who move to the suburbs often have less free time because they spend more time driving to and from work. Some people spend two or three hours a day in their cars. Also, the suburbs are not always safe. In some suburbs, there is as much crime as there is in cities.